Hello, I'm Malta, and we're going to do two drawing sketches by Gani Pache. I hope I've spelt, I hope I pronounced that correctly. Gani Pache. He's not in the book, the main Maltese book of painters, because he's still going strong. And uh, though he's not not in the book at the moment, in the current edition, I'm sure he will he will get there quite soon. The, the, the reason I'm, I'm pleased about these two pictures we bought recently in Malta is because there happens to be an exhibition at the moment. I noticed in the Times of Malta there was an exhibition by this artist, this living artist, Gani Pache, and most of the works in the art in the in the gallery are sculpture. And I, I, I haven't been, but I looked at the pictures on the in the Times of Malta, and I was really surprised to see, amongst the terracottas and the pottery and other me media, that though these are two-dimensional both two-dimensional. They have a strong reminiscence to those sculptures in this gallery, this exhibition. I was really surprised. Um, for example, if you look at some other artists, uh, the sculpture often has nothing to do or has no similarity with the 2D drawings and pictures and paintings. So I was, I was very pleased. And, and the overriding feature of similarity was the swirly, veil-like, scrolly, adornment which he's got on the sculpture and on these two um, drawings. So, so we, ha we had them framed by Deco at Tikali and we decided because the current mood for many of the buyers is light and fresh and colourful, uh, rather like in Mallorca or in Ibiza or in London to degree, Los Angeles to degree, New York to degree, they want bright light we want uplifting, clear, clean, crisp things to look at. Uh, not necessarily dingy old crummy frames and gloomy old pictures. So we've got both. We've got gloomy old pictures and we've got crummy old pictures and we've got some of the good modern bright stuff, clear stuff. And when we bought them they were in mouldy old frames with woodworm and they were framed conventionally to the edge of the, the piece of paper. And we thought, well, it's a bit, a bit of a shame, really, because uh, apart from being covered in woodworm, they were very measly, measly frames, and it didn't really do, do them justice. So we took them out of the frames and sent them to be framed. These pictures, these, this is paper, and it is on a piece of Fomex, meaning the edge is one centimetre off the backboard, and the box frame has got white on the back and on the edges on the inside, and the picture is recessed in, in this frame and the picture itself is a crayon or charcoal, sorry, a crayon or a pastel or possibly wax crayon, I'm not sure which it is, it's going to be a pastel I think. And uh, because the paper is nearly 30 years old, these are dated 1996, because the paper is old paper, it's yellowed and the new backboard and the new frame contrast quite well. So you can see something which is obviously not new you can see something which obviously isn't a print straight out of the factory. And the texture also, the texture of the paper uh, gives this pastel a very nice effect, granular effect, because there's a texture to it and there is some une un unevenness to the colour of the paper and the edges of the paper. You, you, you know you're looking at a real work of art, not, as I say, not a poster. And that's the look I don't want. I don't want things to look like a poster. Um, You'll, you'll, you'll notice if you go into many people's houses, they have an Andy Warhol poster bought at the museum and rolled up in a piece of shiny, shiny paper. You'll notice people have got the red Ferraris, they've got the Marilyn Monroes, they've got the Mona Lisas. You'll, you'll notice there, are, there, there is this, this trait for people to buy this international art and often they use this, these modern inkjet prints, g clay prints, and they are posters. People pay a lot of money for them, but they look atrocious if you're in the business. You see these things, it's desperately disappointing. This is the real thing. This is Maltese. It's signed, it's dated, it's an original by this artist who is a good artist. He's got his own way of doing it, and I think that they, 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 they'll make someone a very good goodbye. <clears throat> you know, these are not small pictures. This is the other thing, they're big. That one there with the sunshine yellow is going, to, is going to inject a lot of brightness into anyone's house. And um, they're, they're so cheap at the moment, I can't believe it, to be honest. 
So, so we have them for sale, and uh, someone will have a go at some stage. Thank you.